back at the Virginia M Water Boat Expo here in Norfolk, Virginia. As we continue showing boats, let's go power boating for a change, everybody. We're on board a Carolina Classic, and Keith Privet right here is going to tell us a little bit about a boy, a great fishing boat, huh? Yes, sir. It's a 28 foot boat. It is a smaller, easy to maintain version of an offshore vessel, but it gives you the ride of a bigger vessel, it gives you the options of a bigger vessel. and. Uh, she, she has a real good bottom on her. She weighs about 15,000 pounds, so it's a real good offshore heavy weather boat. What do we got for power here? Twin diesels? Twin diesels. We offer them from 260 horsepower all the way up to 315 horsepower. So how fast do you want to go, huh? Exactly. Uh, cruise speed can range anywhere, depending on the engine, anywhere from 27 knots all the way up to about 31 knots. What kind of fuel capacity? Roughly about 200 gallons. We can do an additional, 200, uh, additional 56, which takes it up to 256 for long range. I see we have a, a tuna tower and everything up there. Yes, sir. The tuna tower is optional. We can do a hard top as well, but the tuna tower just gives you a little bit more visibility, and you can, of course, run your 19-foot riggers on them, too. Okay, and we've got a little uh, V-berth cabin in there that looks like you have a table if you want to sit down and eat, huh? We do. We have a table up there. We have a V-berth that can sleep two to three comfortably. Uh, we have a refrigerator, a microwave. Uh, we can run a 5 kW generator up here, so we have uh, air conditioning available, hot water available for a shower. There's a separate stand-up head with a with an electric head with a holding tank as well. So this is actually a little bit of a liveaboard. Spend the weekend on it, be comfortable. It is. It's a weekend. It's a it's an offshore vessel that you can take out overnight if need be, or if you're just cruising on the weekends, you can stay at the dock and be comfortable. What can I pick one of these up for, roughly? Uh, in the range of 200 to 215. That's not bad for a good fishing boat. No, sir, not at all. And they finance out about 20 years, huh? Yes. <laughs> all right, now, Doc Riley has another sailboat for us. Thanks, Captain Ted. Look at this. Plenty of headroom. Lou Grimm, beautiful Catalina. This is spacious. Beautiful cabin. Hey, Doc. Yeah, we're real proud of the Catalina line, obviously. Frank Butler's been building these boats for 36 years. He's been very sensitive. Jerry Douglas is head designer. They get a lot of feedback from customers. They're very open. Come to boat shows like this one, listen to what people say. And as a result, over 36 years, they start rolling into the boats what people like to hear and see about them. Light interior, uh, very spacious, very airy. It's all solid teak. Uh, it's a clear finish on it, so it keeps it bright and cheerful. Uh, a lot of space for people, also a lot of storage space. Uh, this, this particular model has a huge aft cabin, which is a master stateroom in the cabin. Uh, it's, uh, specific access to the, uh, to the head, uh, as well as, a, as uh, everything you want above board. You know, the navigation system on this boat something to be proud of and uh, very, very well done as well. It is. It's a very competitive boat. In fact, we just had a big regatta up where we uh, live, and the regatta had a huge number of boats in it, and it was won by non-corrected time with a boat just like this one. Let's go topside now. Talk about some of the styling features uh, on this Catalina. Okay. Catalina is a very conservative company. Again, I don't think you get stay in business 36 years without paying attention to what your customers want. Uh, one of the nice things about Catalinas is they hold their value a long time. You can put a 20-year-old Catalina out 100 yards from shore along with one that's fairly new. You have a hard time telling them apart. Uh, Catalina is very serious about what sailboats are supposed to do. They don't see a lot of glitz and glamour and, and stuff that's stylish is going to fade away in five years. It's a very competitive, uh, classic rig with four stays and, and starboard and port stays. Um, all the boats now have the option of having roller furling mains on them. Down in this part of the world, we sell most of them with 135 Genoas uh, and a full roller furling main on a boat this size. Thanks very much, Lou. You know, it is beautiful. And again, retaining the value and looking that Catalina look. 